when we looked at population, we analyzed both the logistic model and the extinction doomsday model using fixed points. Although it wasn't until a few sections later that we introduced that terminology. Let's see what fixed points can tell us about acceleration and velocity when we do not neglect air resistance. The first question in relation to that is whether there are any fixed points. We will set the derivative equal to zero. And we find that there is a fixed point. The gravitational constant over the drag coefficient with a negative sign in front. We'll give this value a name, we'll call it V sub tau and say that it is terminal velocity. And we will now analyze the stability of this fixed point and therefore learn something about this V without ever actually solving for V. Well, that's, that's not quite right. We will solve for V in a later set of notes, but let's see what we can do without solving for V. Here's a number line. Here is our fixed point, terminal velocity. And let's ask what happens over in this region. What happens when velocity is less than terminal? velocity. Rho is a positive number. Drag coefficients are positive. So if we multiply both sides of the inequality by rho, that does not reverse the direction of the inequality. And we can add or subtract the same thing from both sides of an inequality. So let's subtract rho v. And we find that negative g minus rho v is positive. Well, that is precisely the derivative of the velocity. So if the velocity is over in this region, it's increasing towards terminal velocity. Suppose by contrast that velocity is greater than terminal velocity, that velocity is in here. Well, we'll make a similar argument. 
once again, we'll multiply both sides of this inequality by rho. Once again, we'll subtract rho v from both sides of this inequality. And we this time find that negative g minus rho v, the derivative is negative. That is to say, if the derivative is negative, the velocity is decreasing. And so, if an object falls long enough, approaches its terminal velocity. Terminal here, not as in fatal, but as in terminus, its end velocity. So, for example, when we are children and first being taught about acceleration, we're often given the example of dropping a penny off the Empire State building and we're gravely told that by the time that penny reaches the ground it will be moving so fast that it would kill someone if it hit them in the head. That was a little lie that we were told to help us understand acceleration. In reality, if you drop a penny off of the Empire State Building, it will not just accelerate indefinitely. It will instead approach its terminal velocity. And for a penny, if you'll pardon the feeble humor, terminal velocity is not terminal. It would sting a little, but it would not, in fact, kill you if you were hit by this falling penny.